All right, so I've had some questions, I've had a, a lot of questions on my whiskey taps. By right now, it's my most popular video. I think it's over 22,000 views. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I've had some questions that have come up and they've been about the same question about the hole on top and how I line that up. So I figure while I'm making these, I'd stop and do a quick video for you. Anyways, first things I do is on every little project that I'm selling in my markets and stuff, is I make a, a kind of a notes page. Sometimes I'll add drawings on here. Usually I don't need them. Just the, the dimensions and stuff is enough for me. For instance, on this one, I have wood frame notes. I have glass block notes, sizes of bits, um, different key measurements, all that I put on here. I even put my shipping information, box size, weight of it totally packed, all that set it up on Etsy and wherever else I need to set the shipping info in just for FYI. With that on the glass block when I'm drilling the holes on my notes I use an 18 millimeter which I did cover that in my original video 18 millimeter hole glass cutting hole and what I do on this newt style block I ran out of my vintage retro ones that was in that original video so now I'm buying blocks from Lowe's like probably all of y'all or on Amazon is it's an inch and an eighth down and center just like that so that's a glass block then of course you got your hole down here I haven't had many questions about that I guess everybody got that good but this is a 16 millimeter hole on the bottom for the actual spout I I think I've covered that enough for the wood whenever I am I got my pieces cut I always use a straight edge push all my pieces up against to tape and all that. Well, this is also the time when I figure out what I want the top. So the two middle ones are going to be the top of my triangle and I want those to be the best grain, the most featured. So for instance, this one has a cool knot. I want this to be on top. So what I figure is this board will have the hole in it. This one will be on top. So they'll both be featured and it'll look all groovy, groovy. With that being said, now I figured out the board I want to drill my hole in. So based on my notes, my wood frame notes, is I'm going to use an inch and a half Forstner bit. I'm going to come down an inch and seven eighths in this case, and I'm going to drill it. Now you can batch these out real easy because you can set up, if you have a drill press, you can set it up with your stop and your fence, and you can knock these out real quick, and they're all exactly the same. Then once I do that, then I can put these together. So that's really basically it on the hole. And if you'll notice, the way it works out. So that's it. And it's right there in the center. Works out perfect. Now if your glass block's different and you got different sizes, it does my my measurements don't matter. It doesn't matter. Take your own measurements. Figure out this. All you gotta do is make the first one the way you want it. And once you have that hole there, you can set one of these on top of there and you can measure and you can figure out where you need to make the hole in here. Then you write those measurements down in your notes so you remember next time you make a batch of these. Maybe you only make two or three of these every two or three months. You're not gonna remember. So write down notes and file them. I keep all these in a special place in my shop so I can go right to them and pull them out and when I'm making the project. I can throw them on my workbench and utilize it. That's how I'm doing it. Um, another one that might help you all when you're setting up your saw is I always make a little saw setup template. This one, as you can see, it says new glass, uh, seven and a quarter. I do this to replicate it every time. I go ahead and set my blade at the 45 degree. I can butt this, my fence up against the blade and get my exact length, or yeah, exact length for the actual frame. See, they match up perfect. So every single time they're going to be like this and I'm going to have a nice tight fit. And you can see how tight the fit is. It's really nice and tight. I mean, there's not even like maybe a 30 second, 16th of an inch tops all the way around whenever these are complete. I like them that way. I don't want a lot of slop in there. I hope this helps you answer some of your questions. I appreciate everybody that's watched the video and bought stuff using the links. That's really helped me out a lot through the Amazon affiliate program. 
Hey, feel free to look up my Facebook, check me out there. You can message me on Facebook a lot easier. I can answer easier. I can send videos or pictures, like whatever you need. Um, also, I post stuff on Facebook that you won't ever see on this channel. So check it out. I'll see y'all next time.